Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a Bible review, and I have another Bible review coming after this. Sorry. <laughs> but um, these were two Bibles that I really did want to review for you guys. So this Bible here is the King James Version I Am Bible. Discover the God who speaks every spoken word of God. Bolded commentary on over 1,100 passages. This is a black leather touch. This is not my Bible. This is actually a Bible that was gifted to my younger sister. And um, quickly reading the back, it just says the I Am Bible highlights all of the words in the Bible spoken directly by God. With commentary notes to provide further insight into each highlighted verse, this unique feature allows the reader to experience the heart of God and identify themes that occur throughout Scripture. The result is a powerful Bible study tool that will help you see in a fresh way in self-revelation of God in the Holy Bible. The benefits include a unique text highlighting approach that emphasizes God's direct statement throughout the Bible with commentary. Readers can quickly identify when God speaks and who he is speaking to and the point of his statements. And with roughly 1,100 bolded passages, readers will discover the God who speaks from Genesis to Revelation. So that's what this Bible is. This is just the box. Um, this is, like I said, the leather touch. It is retailing for $44.99 or $45. Bucks. I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper on Amazon and ChristianBook.com. I know Amazon has the hardcover. The hardcover has this design on the front for $20.12. Um, but again, I'll leave all the links down below in the description box. So let's dive into this beauty. And I was kind of jealous when my sister got this Bible, you guys, because it's really, really nice. It's a really nice bible i love 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 so they say it's black but to me it's more of a deep brown um and then it has like this bronze foil on it and it's the burning bush and i thought that was so dope um the side it literally just has it imprinted in with the burning bush foil it's from holman um and it is a king james like i said this is not my bible it is my sister so there will not be any like highlighting from me or anything like that um but I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was a cool concept and I wish other Bibles did something like this, you know, but um, I know Holman is really known for highlighting um, Old Testament passages and things like that. But diving in, you have a paste down liner in this like chocolate brown. I don't know, again, why they call it black. It definitely looks brown to me, but whatever. Um, I am Bible Holman. Let me just get this to autofocus. Okay. Burning bush. I love that. Over here, you have your ISBN, so you can get it in hardcover, black leather touch, black leather touch index, brown leather touch, or brown leather touch index. This might be the brown leather touch, but I'm not sure because the box says black. Yeah. Um, and you, you have your table of contents. Old Testament, New Testament, additional material. God's plan for salvation, which I think is key for every Bible. Um, they call it the Evangelism Response Center. That's so cool. Um, introduction to the I am Bible then you dive directly into the Old Testament so when they say that the words of God are bolded it basically literally is bolded as you can see um, so here we have let me fix the camera and zoom in just a bit hopefully you guys can see this a little bit clearer but if you guys can see verse 5 is this verse 5 yeah verse 5 is not bolded but verse 6 when he says let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters that's bolded because that is God speaking. So every time God is speaking in the Old Testament, it will be bolded. And then in the center, they have this section called God speaks to. So yeah, um, so it says God speaks to or he spoke to himself and created the universe and everything in it, demonstrating his unlimited power. And it explains what verses. So verse three here, let there be light, let there be a firmament, um, let the waters under the heaven be gathered let the earth bring so it's explaining to you exactly what he is speaking and then it says god spoke and created and gave him the ability created man and gave him the ability which is in verse 26 here let us make man in our image so i think that's cool and it does that throughout the entire old testament so let's skip ahead to judges i mean sorry joshua <laughs> and um you have the conversation between joshua and god and um basically verses two 
through 9 are bolded because that is when God is speaking to Joshua, giving him encouragement and trying to help him have the courage to obviously go and take down the walls of Jericho. <laughs> so you have that. You do get one ribbon bookmark. Um, it is black or is it brown? I don't know if this is black or brown. It might look black on camera, but in person it looks like brown. I don't know about that. But um, moving to the next page. I came to Isaiah 43 because you guys know that's my scripture of the year. Verse of the year. And um, it is all bolded. And this is probably going to be a Bible that I use for my sister. I'll probably take it like during the days when I'm at home studying the word. Just so that I can clearly visualize God speaking. Because sometimes you really don't know between who's speaking and who's not speaking. If you're reading the King James, because the King James does not use cap, they don't capitalize the pronouns or anything like that. So it, it can get confusing. And I think with something like this, it will help a lot more to see when God is speaking versus when people are speaking for God. Like, it, you, you get what I'm saying, right? Okay. <laughs> so I think that's cool. Then you go to the New Testament. Now, simply because the words of God are bolded does not mean that this is not red, le red letter text. And you guys, when I say this is red letter text, it's red letter text. So not only, not only are you getting the words of God bolded, but you're getting red letter text for the words of Christ. Like, ah, and then even the boxes are going to be red, which I think is nice. This red is really nice. It's not too bright. Um, it's not too dark. It's nice and subtle. And you definitely can tell the difference between the text of the black, the red, and the bolded, which I like. Sometimes some red letter text can be a little overwhelming on the eyes, too bright, too bold, things like that. So going ahead, I want to ask one um, because Acts one is really when you see Jesus speaking to the disciples um, and just telling them to stay and wait on the Holy Spirit. So we see that here in verses four, five, seven and eight. Jesus is speaking and then over here you get to see God speaking to the disciples so I think that's pretty cool and again God speaking regular text red letter text is Jesus so that's so awesome and you can see the difference between the boxes between when God what God spoke to and Jesus spoke to then when you go to the back this is something I'm, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna take a photo of or if I'm gonna like copy it I don't know it's really cool but um this is a topical index you get two topical indexes so this one says what god the father says about himself through his word and actions so everything about god relating to himself as god the father so you get a few pages on that so angry awesome comforter commander companion compassionate confrontational covenant faithfulness um covenant maker creator defender deliverer demanding destroyer discerning empowering fair faithful father I mean, fearsome, holy, instructor, judge. You see all of these scriptures for judge. Um, how he's just, how he's the lawgiver, liberator, listener of prayers, master designer, miracle worker, source of the miracles, um, demanding of obedience, provider of peace, restorer, sovereign, sign maker, remnant provider. I mean, I think this is just such a good page to have. And I'm, I'm like, I'm serious. I'm probably either going to scan this into my computer and print it out for myself just to have. I, I don't know. Um, and then you have another topical index, but this is what Jesus says about himself through his word and his actions. So it might be the same sometimes, but obviously there will be some differences. Um, you know, Jesus speaks to, speaks of himself as an evangelist, as an exorcist, as a healer, as a defender, um, as a substitute, as a suffering servant, as sorrowful, the sign maker, provider, prophet, offspring of David, the Messiah, the obedient provider of blessings. Oh, you can't see that. Provider of blessings. So I just thought that was so cool that this was back here. Moving on. You then have this, which I think is... I, th I wish a lot of Bibles did this. Even if they're like adult Bibles. I don't care. But um, this is a glossary of terms used in the King James Bible. King's English. So basically what it does is it takes those words that are in the Bible in the King James that we don't understand. And it gives you an English definition. So um, for admonish... Here it says warn or reprimand someone strongly and it gives you where um, for aloof. It tells you right here. Psalms 38. It tells you what it is. Distant and unfriendly. Elms, which is a benevolent gift for the poor people. Um, alpha. It basically explains what alpha is. The first letter of the Greek alphabet. Symbolically the first. <laughs> um, and I just I like that they do that. Beseech here which is to implore or entreat so i think that is so awesome that they have this back here and it goes for a while it tells you cubit what that is 
So it's 18 inches. Because you know when you're reading the Bible and they be like, oh, nine cubits this and eight cubits that. I don't leave knowing what that is in inches and centimeters. So I like that they got that there. Fowl they have here, which the fowler bird trap. So I think that's cool that this is in the back. And even here they have thine and therewith and thou and tither. So it explains tither is toward there. Thine is second person. You know, thou is second person singular of thee or you, which is so amazing. They even have thy, you guys. Come on. Thy. Like, you, you know the words that you'd be like, what? Then you have your concordance, which I don't really have to show you guys what a concordance is. But it's basically, if you don't know a scripture and you remember certain words from a scripture, you can go to the back of your Bible to the concordance and figure out that scripture by looking up the word. So if it's adversary, it gives you not all of them because this is not an actual like big strongest concordance. But it gives you most of them or the, the key ones that use that word and you can find your scriptures that way. So it's a scripture locator in a sense. <laughs> and then, you know, that's that's a lot. Good, good amount of pages. Then in the back you have your map. So this map is the migration of Abraham. This one is the route of the Exodus. This is the tribal allotment of Israel. And it's printed on... Um, it's, it's not glossy paper, so that's nice. You can actually write on this if you wanted to, which I think is cool. Um, the Exodus of Israel and... I'm sorry, the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. The Israel Israel in the time of Jesus, excuse me. And the ministry of Jesus around the Sea of Galilee. The Passion Week in Jerusalem. Good amount of maps in here. And then Paul's missionary journeys. So, um, I absolutely like this Bible a lot. Um, like I said, it is my sister's Bible. I will be utilizing this Bible. <laughs> When I study because I think it's so useful, I definitely do plan, like I said, to scan those last portions um, of the topical index because I just think that would be great to kind of construct a um, sort of like scripture writing plan or something like that. So I'm going to utilize that somehow, even though this is her Bible, but um, I really, really like this Bible and um, it is gold foil, gold gilded edges, sorry, and it's really nice, nicely put together. Um, again, like I said, they say this is black, but her Bible look looks brown um it was a gift so i don't know but um yeah this is a really cool bible i definitely recommend it especially for teens my sister is 14 um and she finds it hard to read the king james but she has been enjoying this bible a lot more recently i did get her an niv bible before um but i'm just not a fan of the niv personally for um just personal reasons i prefer either the csb or the esb um, but I'm glad that she was gifted a King James because I felt like she needed a King James Bible in her life. So that's that Bible. And it's really cool. I probably will buy my own um, just to have just because I, I, I haven't come across a Bible that actually will take the time to bold the words. Psalms is not the best place to go, but um, I'm trying to find a page with a lot of bolding on it. <laughs> but I haven't found a lot. Of Bibles that will actually take the time to go through and make the words of God just as important as um, they do when they make the words of Christ red letter text. Um, and I'm not saying that the Bible is not important because every word, every inch, every period, punctu punctuation, everything in the Bible is important scripture wise. Um, but I think this is much easier for people to read and flow through and study when you can see when God specifically is speaking. Um, because it just gives, uh, I guess, more of an impact, if you will. But um, do I recommend this? I definitely do recommend this. Again, this is not my Bible. Sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> this is not my Bible. This is my little sister's Bible. But she might um, have to let me use her Bible. But <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. If you are interested, all the links will be down below. Thank you guys for rating, commenting, subscribing, and all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.